Without Epic Launcher, you can't think about Unreal Engine. It's a part of Unreal Engine. So in this video, I'm going to explain you as much as possible about the Epic Launcher, which you, it will be required you to know before you start your game development. So this is the first part about Unreal Engine knowledge. So once you open the Epic Launcher, you will find the news tab. This is a front page of the full software and also it's kind of like the front page of the newspapers as well where you'll get the all the highlights of the total events what's going on in this industry uh, which is related with Unreal Engine what's the lastest version engine uh, you find the YouTube links you have any questions you can directly go to their website you can reach their supports what's basically upcoming and what's feature or content feature they are giving any highlights or anything related you know that all the information you'll be get in a one page okay so in this way you don't need to follow any other youtuber or twitter page or any other link and stuff that okay i need to go there and then i need to get the knowledge from this okay you find totally ab about a kind of like a highlights okay and the second you find some samples uh the samples is kind of like from officially epic provide some demonstrate project files that which is uh, help you to understand the about Unreal Engine and you know some you know kind of like some special features that you have to know so for introduce that feature they create some content files or kind of like a project file which they give you to understand okay you use this one you'll be get this or you'll learn this so kind of like this Alara template or CD sample in the CD sample you'll be understand a huge how you can create a massive level environment and it's in a Alara system you'll be understand about the complete multiplayer and the shooting mechanics how it's going to be work and etc after that you find in the third place which is marketplaces which is really very important for the all the developers so in the marketplace you find all the your needed asset kind of like everything kind of like your game assets your sound effects your vfx environment pops characters textures materials you know each and everything you will find on the marketplace section also in the marketplace uh, section you find you can basically make the categories like okay you want to search on this category or in this category which is also allow you to you know find your particular product with more easily or with more defined way okay so let's see that how the marketplace is going to be work and also you can see once you open the marketplace you will find something like this also make sure i'll uh, always try to you know keep updated with marketplaces because in unreal engine there's a lots of even go every time kind of like they give black holiday uh sales and wholesale stamps and the new uh, happy new year sales so they give lots of events so in this events you will be getting uh, offers in the product like uh, discounts on the product that you need for example this environment pack is uh, cost more than 120 dollar but you are giving in the half price of uh 5999 which is really good offer for you if you are looking something like that or just a template or any other also there's a, a cool feature of epic marketplaces or epic is they every month they give more than 200 to 500 usd specs in free so yeah which is basically paid in epic markets is going to if you buy from without any offer or their holidays you will you can't find this thing in free you only find this thing in every month okay and in every month's epic release a new asset specs list that you can get it free okay so it, which is really very good like in this month you can see it's they're giving some uh environment packs some character creating system some vfx bundles some landscapes and environment some npc system and many more also about here you do some mistakes when you are as a beginner so i'm going to introduce you what's your basically means there's a basically they give some categories which is basically help you to find your content more precisely for example if you go to the browsing mode you find all of the asset like all of the marketplaces assets in a one place okay you don't need to go to industry stuff or any other if you're looking for free stuff so you can go, you can go to this free stuff that they also make their kind category kind of like epic content which is basically directly provided from by epic then you find the mega scan mega scan also it's a you know a higher realistic providers that they provide really photorealistic assets that's why and at here on the browser system you can see the all the stuff now at here you become confused that uh, how i select the assets for my game so there's a trips and tricks for you 
The first thing you choose your Unreal Engine version like which engine version you want to use for your game. Suppose you want to only use 5.4 only for your game. So you just select this. So Epic going to be automatically filter all the assets for you which is only supported 5.4. It can be support 5.3 or 5.2 as well but it will be first target for you that okay you need this version will first find for you the this categories that okay because some of assets in Epic develop because it's a uh, open source stuff so that anyone can upload any type of asset pack which is basically reviewed by Epic but still sometimes they didn't upgrade their asset pack which is maybe required for example you might be need these asset packs or these nanite uh, high poly uh, trees but this is asset pack is nothing updated for 5.4 you have they only updated for 5.3 so in 5.4 their issue can become in the shaders or model foliage stuff like on the uh, wind system or anything okay so that's why always try to first select the supported engine version which is basically help you to find the your perfect engine then so second is supported platform now you have to basically uh, get a decision about your game whether you want to make your game for mobile or consoles or you want to make it for the windows or pc versions so in my case if you're thinking that no bro i only i'm going to make games for the mobiles or windows just say uh, say the windows or android but there's the advantage if you are selecting for console or mobile you can still use uh, for sorry for console or pc you have an advantage of use android uh, assets or you know they're basically very optimized but that's why but you can't use windows or uh, you know console level assets in the mobile because it's going to be it can be used but there you get very bad performance also draw calls and etc which is we'll discuss about in our latest videos as well how to optimize about the games okay so actually let's give a filter of android so now it's going to be filter all of the asset pack which is basically supports android there's also option for the vr gear as well honex uh, html5 but make sure the html5 no longer supports in a really 5 series there has shift that to the pixel streaming then mac os oculus stream vr windows 32 bit so as you can see this all our asset packs has been designed for the mobile so you can easily you know rely on these packs that okay it's going don't don't going to affect my games performance and etc now there's also some more option at here available now you will have a question bro i only want the characters how can you select that for example i only want maybe characters or trees so actually you find the, some filters tags so they give you a tag system which is allow you to filter more precisely for example let's say it's characters now it will only show me the categories which is basically have the cha uh, characters and it will be show me for 5.4 and it will be show me for the android version which is basically android supported so which is basically very easy to find the assets that we need or we are looking suppose we are only looking character we are not looking for an environment pack or any other v uh, vfx stuff so it's don't going to show us as you can see right now it's only showing us which is basically tagged for the character as and you can see we are mostly getting your edit 90% we are getting results of character which is basically easy to it will save our times as well there's a one more option if you want to take discounts for example all the asset pairs doesn't give you discounts okay because it's also need to approve by the sellers like who are selling uh, these assets packs so at that time you can select suppose you are looking for something under 50% discount so you can choose that 50% discount option so now it will be again going to be filtered all of those with now with 50% stack so which is now more help you to uh, get discounts on your asset pack. currently you can see that you might be like this one so it's a uh, $19 asset pack now it's you are only getting 44 which is 50% off which is really very cool so kind of like that or that asset pack, you know the advanced magnified system or any paragon demons or anything so this way you should find or use the epic launcher always try to use this feature they give because some of you always uh, you know don't uh, select the and then go to the purchase and you once you purchase it, you see okay bro it doesn't support the engine and it's very high poly on etc okay now let me tell you one more thing about whenever you're purchasing the asset specs or any kind of like a paid assets or anything it can be so make sure every time they pr must provide the seller must provide the demos project for the mechanics system or blueprints and for the model they provide the kind of like a video tutorial or uh, stuff that how they are it's going to be look like like maybe in image you can't see everything or can't feel 
get all the vibes that you want or are you are not you know sure about are it's going to be supports or not even with this uh, poly counter you can't even say that how much poly counter it's this so you can go to the description section and there always epic provide the technical details all the sellers must need to provide their technical details so you'll get for this uh, option for every seller or every asset packs so you don't need to worry you not just need to check for example the rig yes it has been rig you don't need to now uh, have a doubt okay is i have a rig or not or i need to do again rig for that and also they will tell you that what is it is a epic rig or not yes you can see it's epic rig so you don't need to worry about okay it's uh, have any other different skeleton or not then you find about the uh, the ik bones included or not yes it's included also you find the animation that if it does this as a per con uh, contain any animation packs or not the number of character that how much character the seller giving you the number of texture texture resolution and as you can see vertices and the poly counts are in this character and the instance of the match why they supported and any other, any documentation available or not you find all the details about on the description section also before purchase always try to check the reviews that if anyone say anything about this asset pack or not or the uh, any question or not is if the seller is giving reply or not maybe some of cases you need some question from the developers like or the creators that bro uh, i didn't understand this part can you explain me sir so the developer will always give you a reply if you ask any question up there after that purchasing you can give a review as well if did you like this asset packs or not and at the support platform you can see that support deck list that it supports and everything pretty, pretty much support everything also you can find a download option or the download type asset packs make sure in epic launcher there's a two type of download system one is uh, the project and one is asset packs asset packs you can put in your any projects but the projects type it's kind of like it will be create a different project for you and from there if you want you can get your or merge your assets from from that project to your current project or your working project okay so just keep it in mind also once ever come and now let's talk about some about the freeze in the freeze you find everything is free okay like everything you can use and now also some of you have a question about hey bro uh, if you use this asset packs even the free ones or the paid ones are we have get the license of use in our game for commercial purpose yes you get the license for that because whatever is provided in epic launchers or epic marketplaces is basically ready for uh, use commercial project without giving any extra you know commission to them or anything but yeah but it's still uh, i will suggest you to read uh, sometime in the description because sometimes some plugin developer give that some requirement that if you sell like one million dollars uh, like you get the revenue you need to share there by five percent or two percent something like that so it so always try to read the description if they give any contract like that or not otherwise you can basically feel free to use those and you know get that and use in your game okay lastly i'm trying to want to talk in the plugins or the assets i want to talk about the plugins like the plugins are some important for example this uh let me go with a simple uh plugin that it might be help you to understand hmm, let's go this one this viewport one so in the viewport one okay so in plugins they're very restricted stuff like for example if the plugin developer said this plugin will be only support 5.2 to 5.4 it's been it's doesn't going to be support 5.1 or even it's for if it's currently supposed in 5.5 come even it's not going to be support so make sure the plugin is basically kind of like it's kind of like you know the created for the source of the engine so if you try to use that in an upgraded version of intel it can become errors or just doesn't going to be support so asset packs or materials texture and other stuff can be easily used but about the you know kind of like if i say talk about the plugins it's not going to be support all of engine version so you have to keep it mind okay and lastly you can go to the help sector if you think that anytime you need help now what is the help section or what is this kind of like so suppose that you have a assets pack the developers didn't give any reply about your question or you facing problem but uh, the developer didn't give any uh, solution about that so you might be need now the maybe refunds or you might be need the fix so for at that point you can directly contact with epic okay they are really very helpful person and 
you will really get very easily their uh, response okay you can go to the their seller supports like the you are customers or you are whatever you are you know you are your buyer or what you can go to their help and supports you can message them you can email them and they will give you the reply so it's very cool that epic give kind of like this kind of like a supports that even if you need help they will must give you help okay so this is all about marketplaces i know it's a huge thing so yeah okay now let's talk about the library section the library section is basically typically used by the developers so in the libraries you find the actual unreal engine that why you want to install your you know the engines that updates if it is need any upgrades kind of like from plus button you can choose any of unreal engine that you want but make sure for now uh, from 4.27 all the engines has been dispatched so they are not giving more supports on the older version engine they are only giving last three version engine support so you need to keep it in mind and about the installation you know the installation process i don't want to i'm not going to be explain about that and yeah that is a kind of like you know <laughs> you already know so that's why i'm not going to give you information about that and second you find option for the my project so it's kind of like if you want to open any particular project from here you can just double click and it will be open also there's a one more good thing that you can see your engine versions that your current project it is like why is this location of this uh, project file uh, what is the engine version okay so you'll be pretty much getting highlights about a uh, stuff and then from here you can even open to your project stuff as well and once you buy the assets packs on everything you have a must be question the bro it's going it's going on your library on the value so actually you also buy the category so if you want to choose any particular category for example you don't need all you only need the animation stuff so you can go to animation you can choose that animation so you can see that whatever animation i have it's showing at here or suppose you want to choose any blueprint stuff so you can go to the blueprints category like that so you find all of here in you know one place and one side so that anytime you can install kind of like a plugin and if you already have installed plugin it will be don't show you to install the plugin okay until you have to and if it's a kind of like uh the project as i said they create a new project it's kind of like look ask your location that why you want to save it and it will you can save there you know create this project file okay kind of like that it's a uh, super easy the lastly these two things are uh, twin motion and reality capture is not related with the unreal engine it's a kind of like particular on the other software so i'm not going to discuss about that because it's not related with the epic launcher stuff so once you download or give it anything in download you find in the download list like what is the progress and it is stuff and if you go to the settings you can go to the uh, editable value cache location so wherever whenever you install any plugins or stuff it will be first of all create a cache data for you so if you want you can change the cache data location if you think your c drive is full or if you want to choose any other location if it's on you and lastly uh, if you think that there's a something problem in your epic launcher you can change it from here you can change the trouble to shoot you can run a terminal it will be automatically verified for you that if there's any problem for you or not you have minimum requirement and recommended requirement or not if you still have you can give to travel again or you can go to their support center to ask them about supports okay lastly if i your accounts that if you want to manage like a login or log out you can do from here so that's all and the epic launcher and you lastly find your libraries and store like whenever you know you upload any game if you want you can also now epic really give you an option for upload your game in their epic uh, launcher but yeah you still need to pay but yeah it's good uh, also so there's a very good games are available kind of like you can reward and very triple a games are also available at share kind of like this you can see so yeah so you can install from here if you can play games and whenever you click install and anything it will become in our library you can run it from here like how much hour you want or you know stuff like that so that's all with about unreal engine and with the epic launcher as well in second part we'll be going to be start talk about the unreal engine and this stuff so thank you so much for watching see you in the next real video stay happy